Hello, my dear friends! Welcome to Sarah's English. Today we're going to focus on a very interesting pair of words – affect and effect. They seem to be very close, but actually they are not. They are homonyms. And it is very important to understand the difference between these, because these words can have a very similar meaning. But the problem is that affect is mostly used as a verb and effect is usually used as a noun. However, there are some additional meanings which make this topic a little bit more complicated. First of all, let's talk about the meaning, which is more or less the same when effect is a verb and effect is a noun. The meaning is effect as a verb means to produce a change or to influence something, while effect is a change that takes place. In other words, effect means to produce an effect and effect is the result of something affecting something else. Hmm, rain affects my sister's hairdo. So you can always see if she has been outside and it has been raining. <laughs> However, it gives her some charm. Or you can say that rain produces a special effect on my sister's hairdo. So here, effect is used as a noun, not as a verb. Be very careful, because a lot of my students make this mistake and they say to effect instead of to effect. Or they use effect as a noun when they are not supposed to do it. Or I can say that rain has no effect on my hairdo. And that's true. Well, that's not true. If I pour a bucket of water over my head, my look will my hair will look different. For sure. I'm not going to do that. BTW effect on produce an effect on have an effect on. Now let's take a look at a couple of more examples. So, our goal is to focus on competencies which really affect competitive advantage. As you can guess, this is business English. Yeah. Do you like my glasses? Shall I leave them on? If you take out all special effects from a film nowadays, it has just nothing else left. It's dull. And I have one more question for you. What effect does this man have on you? What effect does this woman have on you? It's just an example. Now, at the beginning of this class I told you that there are a couple of meanings which are, well, not that popular and a little bit confusing. So, once again, uh, the meanings connected with changing and influencing are very common. They are used a lot, they are popular, and you should make sure to remember the difference between effect and effect in this particular case. However, there are some extra meanings which you need to know too. For example, effect as a verb can have the second meaning, which is to act in a way that you don't feel or to put on a false show. For instance, you can affect surprise. Let me tell you a little story. Some time ago I found a gift which was intended for me and which I was not supposed to have found. But I did. So, when I was given the present, I had to affect surprise. <gasps> this is for me, really! Oh my god, thank you! You shouldn't have. 
Oh, you shouldn't have. Shame on me. <laughs> so, it turns out that you can affect surprise, superiority, fear, and so on. You can affect feelings and emotions which you do not have. Yeah. What a bad thing to do. Anyway, affect can also be a noun. What? Yeah, that's true. And it has a very specific meaning, a psychological meaning, to tell the truth. So, affect is a feeling or emotion which is usually expressed by body language. When you move, speak, cry, shout and express your feeling or your emotion. So this is a psychological term. It does not mean some specific feeling. It is actually a feeling as opposed to having no feelings, no emotion whatsoever and being calm and silent. And, and when you have a feeling, this is an effect. An effect. BTW. Effect with A is pronounced with the schwa sound at the beginning of the word. Or when you talk about the noun, the first sound is here. It's like ah. While effect has E, short E, at the beginning of the word. I mean, the first letter is E and the first sound is E, but a short one. This meaning is very specific and I'm almost 100% sure that you won't have to use it at all if you are not a psychologist or a psychiatrist or something of the kind. Anyway, but now you know the meaning of effect as a noun. BTW effect can also be a verb. What? Yeah. But once again, it has a specific meaning, different. It's not connected with influencing and changing, well, directly. So, effect as a verb means to bring about, to accomplish, or cause to occur. So, for example, the manager has affected some positive changes in corporate culture. Once again, business English. Take a look. Effect some positive changes. You can effect changes. So, basically, you can effect effects. Yeah, but of course, you should not say it like this. Anyway, here, effect does not mean to influence. Be careful. It means to bring about to cause to occur. So, some changes occurred because of this manager. He did a good job and he affected these changes. He brought them about. He caused them to occur, to appear, to happen. So, this is the meaning of the verb effect. You can also say effect changes, but in this case the meaning will be different because here something will influence the changes. Yeah. The changes will be influenced by something else. Like uh, the crisis affects the changes happening within the company. So, the changes, for example, stopped happening or they slowed down or there was some other effect on the changes. Effect changes to bring them about, make them happen, to affect changes, to influence changes, change them. Okay, that's it about some specific meanings. Once again, let's repeat that. The most popular meaning, which you are supposed to remember here, is connected with influencing and changing. In this case, affect is a verb. 
to affect something means to change something or to produce a change, while effect is a noun in this meaning. It is the change, the result, the change that takes place when you affect something. Affect something. To make it even easier to understand, let's remember one example. When you affect something, it produces an effect. Once again, the meaning of these words affect and effect connected with influencing and changing is very common. The native speakers use these words in this meaning so often that they are practically coming out of their ears. <laughs> anyway, remember the meaning affect verb, effect a noun. And you won't have any problems with these words anymore. So I hope that you liked this video and you found it useful. If you did, please press the button, like it. It will help me a lot and it will mean the world to me. But that's it. Hope to see you soon. Keep studying English with me. Keep studying Russian with me. Do not forget that I have two languages here. You can study one, you can study both. Well, it's up to you. Anyway, see you soon. Happy English and Russian practice! Bye-bye! To affect something means to change some some something.